most of the um, research programs we are running right now are in the area of optical networks. <clears throat> what it means is that we are looking at ways to build networks that utilize light as opposed to electrons to convey information. In the research, uh, a successful program usually becomes uh, practically useful in about 10 years after you complete your program. So uh, as I look back now at what I've been doing, let's say 10 or 20 years ago, uh, and did some uh, of the areas uh, I pursued and some of the programs I executed became spectacularly successful. So one of them, for example, is um, heterodyne optical reception. What that means is that you, or we rather, learned how to build optical receivers, receivers that receive optical signals, in the same manner as people build radio receivers. At that time, it was considered to be a widely speculative area. About 10 years ago, um, people began to implement it in practical systems. And today, essentially every single backbone that operates at a high level of performance is built exactly as we predicted and explored uh, in my previous research program. Another example that also became very successful um, is uh, next generation optical access networks. Um, access networks means uh, that those are the networks that allow to reach either within your home or very close to your home. So about, uh, let's say, 10 or 15 years ago, there was a peculiar way of building it called passive optical networks. And uh, we proposed several uh, ways to make this last mile networks to be much more effective and much more powerful. So those became known as next generation access networks, and today they are gradually being deployed. So my um, research program back at home at Stanford uh, has three main components. One is advanced optical components that are neither active nor passive. We call them quasi-passive. The second one is um, uh, hybrid uh, networks that have uh, radio components and optical components. And the third one is next generation internet architectures. So my hosts here in Madrid are becoming increasingly more interested in um, one of the same net areas, uh, which is uh, hybrid networks. So during my stay here, we are looking into the possibility of building hybrid networks utilizing quasi-passive components that we developed at Stanford. And in fact, we have just submitted uh, our very first joint publication on this topic to a conference here in Spain.